Hi, welcome to ArcGIS Location Platform. My name is Courtney, and I'm a developer advocate at Esri. We're excited to have you here. Now that your free account is set up, let's explore how you can start using ArcGIS in your own projects. First, we'll navigate to the Location Platform dashboard and then to the Developer Credential page in the ribbon. Here we'll select Create Developer Credentials. We are directed to the Developer Portal and prompted to select a credential type. Select API Key Credentials and then select Next. The next step is to set an expiration date. API keys expire after one year, an industry standard practice to ensure security. If your use extends beyond a year, you'll need to rotate your keys. Documentation on this process is linked in the video description. Referrers allow you to further secure the API key, restricting access to specific domains. Then select Next. Privileges allow you to assign permissions to your API key for the actions it will perform. Switching the toggle on for location services will enable all the available services and privileges. However, not every API key needs the same functionalities, so you can tailor yours for different use cases. We encourage you to carefully scope only the privileges you need for that API key. Remember, you can create as many as needed. Click the expand arrow to the left of location services to view a menu of different services. Expand any of the services for more details. You can toggle the capabilities for each service to suit your needs. If you don't find the service you need, you may need to enable pay-as-you-go for additional services. Once the API key service privileges are configured, select Next to scope the key to any items or data services you own. If you have created a web map or layer you'd like to incorporate, you can do so here. Click Next when you're done, and you'll be prompted to give your API key a title, summary, and to add tags. Be sure to read the video description for more guidance on best practices. Now that we've filled out the fields to distinguish this new API key from your other content, select Next, and you'll be provided with a summary of your key. After verifying the information, we will select Next. Now it's time to decide if you want to generate the API key access token now or later. When you choose to generate the API key credential, it will only be visible once at the time of generation. For security reasons, once the key is generated, it cannot be viewed again, so be prepared to copy the key and paste it into your application. If you select Go to Item Details page, I'll generate the API key later, your key is not generated immediately, but you can return to the Item Details page to generate the key once you are prepared to add it to your app. If you've decided to generate the API key now, select Generate the API key and go to the Item Details page. The browser will take a moment to load. And once it does, a pop-up will give you the option to copy the API key by selecting the icon to the right. You'll also find ready-to-use code samples on the Esri Developers site to test your API key. We'll plug in the key we just created into the routing example here. Now we're able to select anywhere on the map to add new stops. Using the ArcGIS routing service, the application calculates a route between the two points and lists the turn-by-turn -turn directions in the top right, with detailed mileage information for each step. Thank you for watching. We want to ensure that you're set up for success. In the description below, you'll find links to the Esri Developer documentation where you'll find tutorials, sample code, and more, the Esri Developer Forms, where you can crowdsource answers from the developer community, as well as the Esri Developer Newsletter, where you can stay informed on the latest releases, tips, and tricks. If you have yet to sign up for an account and this video inspired you to elevate your apps using Maps, be sure to use the link in the description below. Happy developing!